Hello everyone and welcome to this coding video. This will be a simple coding video demonstrating the use of structures in a more complicated fashion than what I have shown in my earlier videos. I already made a video covering unions as well as a video covering structures. I will link both of them in the description below if you need a refresher on either concepts. Like I said, this is a simple coding video and as with these kinds of videos, I will simply go over the code and address any concepts I think is worthwhile to cover. Taking a look at the code, we included our standard libraries up top and then declared a print info function. So this function basically prints information about the employees struct we declared up here. So we have two structures, one called person and the other called employees. Notice that for the employees structure, it has an element with the type person inside of it. So if you remember, this is possible because we initialized it here as a structure and gave it a name with a type def keyword. So yes, you can have structures inside of structures. And you can see the usefulness of this. You can have one process generate a person object and then pass that into the employee's structure object, similar to what we did in the main function. So if you take a look at the main function, you can see we initialized three person objects or structures and then pass that into our employees structure. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was that the person element inside of the employees structure is an array of person objects. So it allows us to put up to 40 persons or however many we want depending on the size of the array in the employee structure inside of the employees uh, object. So after that, we call the print info function, which prints the employee's structure detail. Um, we can take a look at this function really quickly. As you can see, it basically accesses the elements inside of the structure and prints out each individual person's detail to the terminal screen. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully this video gave you an idea um, of what the possible use cases of structures are. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if this video helped you. Thank you and bye.